Dear civil engineers, welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. You know that till the previous lecture, we have just completed our model like that and we have assigned all of our load, I mean all of our record load except our wind and earthquake load and also except our basement all load. Okay, so in our basement all, the sole pressure will apply. So we have to find out basement all load from here. Okay, so to find out basement all load and I mean in this lecture I'm just going to show you that and how we'll find out that load and how we'll ascend the load on EDAPS. So let's start and before starting if you're new to our channel then of course subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get FD update ever first. Now first of all I'll just go to select option then I'll go select to select all of our basement all. So from here I'll just go properties then wall section and from here I'll select B wall 8 inch so basement wall and I'll right click here and show selected object only. Now we can see that only our selected object I mean our basement all are visible here right only our basement all are visible here. Now in which direction we will apply our load this is the most important thing okay so how can i understand you can see that in that direction okay so in i mean in inside direction of our wall our soil reaction or soil pressure will apply now if i just go here assign then from here shell load and uniform okay so they have option uniform and they have another option non-uniform so we'll use that option non-uniform because our soil load are non-uniform like that so if we consider here is a wall already have created a uh, mathematical calculation i will discuss about that so stay with me now if you just go here just see here we have two wall the one are 10 inch and another are 8 inch uh, sorry 10 feet and 8 feet so how we we'll calculate that soil pressure on it okay so from our geotechnical engineering then we know about it how we can calculate our soil pressure value just i'll show you about it here now the option is how we'll assign that load actually how we'll create how we'll assign that load so here you can see that they have an equation we'll use that equation and also which direction will assign our load in which direction okay so we'll use our load in local three direction okay so the perpendicular direction of all are local three direction you have to remember that the perpendicular direction of all are local three directions so i'll show you about it and from here which wall which load will apply now you can see here the one types of load we have just forgotten about them that is our wall load or our soil load okay so i'll close that and i'll just go here define then i'll go all load pattern and from here i'll soil pressure sp then i'll consider that, that is a dead load or super dead load anything you can consider so super i'll consider super dead load then i'll click here add new load that's it then i'll go okay so when everything is okay when everything is okay now i'll go for our next step i'll just go here to see our local axis from here i'll just go object assignment and from here local axis and click apply you can see here you can see here our in that direction in for that all and for that all okay for that all and for that all we are seeing our direction of our axis 3 here blue axis or axis 3 here blue axis our axis 3 axis okay look through local axis 3 now we have to arrange that we have to arrange that local axis 3 in that way so that our direction should be inside so for that all you can see that our direction are inside but for that all the direction are outside and also if i just rotate little bit for that all that's also okay this is in inside direction but for that all 
that is outside direction so what will do that actually simply i'll press ctrl and i'll select all of that all carefully okay i'll select all of that eight wall sorry uh, 12 all carefully and you can see here we have selected 12 shell now i'll close it and i'll go here edit and i'll go shell and i'll go reverse wall local axis 3 i'll click here now see all of our axis are now inside direction okay all of our all are now in inside direction you can see it so when it's okay now our that's part of workout okay now just we have to calculate our value for wall load now if i just if i just come here actually if i just come here assign then if i just come here for our shell load non-uniform load now we need value of a b c d okay we need value of a b c d and our load should be sp our soil pressure and our direction should be local 3 and everything will be okay but our that value should be calculated now how we'll calculate that i'm going to show that i'll just open my mathematical calculation now so suppose countries consider in that particular work i have one and two two walls the above all's height are 10 feet and the below all's height are 8 feet okay and total height are 8 feet and here you can see that this is our direction x z and y and also if we see in our e -taps, so in which direction okay in which direction our load will be applied clear so here we can see that only two direction will cover our x and y but our z direction will not covered by it clear our z direction will not cover by that so after that i'll go here now see x equal to y are zero x equal to y are zero because in our x direction and y direction uh, y direction in our x direction and y direction they have no wall actually in our x direction or y direction so the length of all in z direction that's why we'll only consider our z direction here this is the wall height are in z direction that's why we'll consider only z direction we'll not consider x or y that's why x equal to y equal to zero so our finalized what is the our height is our finalized equation here you can see here p equal to cz plus d and here for a x equal to zero and y equal to zero a and b will be terminated now p equal to cz plus d so we have to find out the value of cz d z p what do we need actually so finally what do we need so for a and b it's zero okay for x and y it's zero obviously now we have to find out the value of c and d this is our final condition and our unit should be pound per feet cube as per our software record and if you change your unit your calculation can be changed after that here is the equation p1 equal to for that load in that base okay loading that base you know about it so for that point here you can see for that point our load are here actually okay so here our so if i just show you in details that will be better if i use another technique to show you so if we <laughs> if you come here now um, i'm able to draw okay so here if you here now you can see here is our one of the base and here is our another base now first of all we have to find out two value so what is the unit weight of our soil so i have considered 120 pound per feet cube and what is the angle of internal friction phi for our soil so i have considered that is 30 that means we have a sandy soil and its angle of friction are 30 degree now what will be the value of k rakhine's coefficient k so that is 0 0.333 if we provide here value of theta okay so it's okay now for that option p1 if we calculate p1 then 
के ए गा जेड ऑन सो वट इज दल अफ जेड ऑन टेन एंड उ नो अबाउट गामा एंड उ नो अबाउट के ए सो फ्रम हियर फाइनल उ कैन फाइंड आउट और दैट वैल्यू फर पी ऑन एंड सीमिलारलि फर पी टू और पी हियर सो फर पी उल इन दैट पॉइंट होल लोड फ्रम एब इट उल एप्लाइड दैट सै उल कन्सिडार और वैल्यू एटीन फर और हाइट now here you can see and here is our value so after that when it's done p1 and p2 now we'll go for all one here our equation these are final equation and for all one okay for all one in that point okay for all one when our when we are here when we are here consider that when we are here then what is our load actually okay and when we are here then what is our load actually now we'll consider from base to top we'll start from base and we'll go to top so when we are base then our value of z are zero okay value of z are zero simply here when we are here in that base I have told you we will start from base to top so in base for that all we will consider that is zero and again for our whole wall in that point we will consider zero clear so when we are in that point for all okay for that wall so when we are when we are here now our z on equal to zero that means here if z on equal to zero z equal to zero or z on equal to zero then cz will be zero then p will be the value of p will provide here we know from here just see from here we know and for that the value of d this is the value of d clear so you find out the value of d for our all one again for when are z equal to 10 when z equal to 10 that means when we are here at top when we are, we are at top then so what will be the value of our that point okay so now again if i just come here now in that point actually in that point they have no pressure actually right they have no pressure that's why p equal to zero here p equal to zero and c into 10 because uh, z equal to 10 now and uh, d equal to what is the value of d so from that equation we have already find out our d clear so when we are here when we are here now what we'll do actually we'll go for our next word so we'll find out the value for our all one so in this way you can find out your value for any particular all. now we'll go for our all two same way same way for all two what is when we are in z2 equal to zero that means in base level when we're in base level then what is the value of p what is the value of p the value of p is 7 or 9.28 pound per square feet all right so here is our value and for that our cz will be zero and here is the d that means here is our value again when we are z equal to 8 that means where when we are the top of our second all so here is our second all this is the top of our second all and here what is the height height will be 8 feet so when z2 equal to 8 feet now here is the value of p clear in that point in that particular point what is the value of p we have found that or the value of p is here after that after that when we are here uh, and c8 c into 8 here z equal to 8 and we know that uh, d equal to what is the value of d here we can find out the value of d is available here so here now it's done clear it's totally done and cos uh, for c okay uh, we'll find out here value and here value so both are minus both are minus no way or no problem this is plus or minus this is calculated value so finally we have find out our two values from here 
we have find out our two values from here so in that way we are able to find out our wall basement all load from here even you you are going to design a uh, even you are going to design a water pool okay this same calculation are also same now i'll just minus it and from here if i just come here i'll okay so from here what i can do that i can select the base wall from here i can select sorry all of our base wall from here the downside so here we've selected 12 shell we have selected 12 shell and here i'll provide value for our all two i mean the down wall so from here we'll get our value so what is the value for our down wall for all two our that was the d2 our d and that was the value for c so for c what is that minus 39.96 that was c the value of c was minus 39.96 and for d what is the value of d so for d 7 on i can copy from here directly 7 on 9.28 now i'll go here and i'll click here after that when it's okay okay when that's okay after that i'll just ensure that everything is okay now i'll simply click apply okay we have applied it a lot again what we'll do actually i'll i'll select above all from here i hope i have selected 10 all but it should be 12 so where I have maybe here one and here on so I've selected all of a 12 all and now for our first all or above all what is the value of that so here is the value so for our value of C that was same as 39.96 and for D that is the value I'll copy that 399.6 for d i'll just go to a software and from here i'll change it Control v and i'll press apply and okay so finally we have successfully assigned our load okay we have assigned our basement all load also so that was the way that how we can assign our basement all here i hope you have understand about that and uh I have generated a another excel sheet i will provide you that excel sheet absolutely for free and uh, in our next lecture i'll show you that how we'll utilize that excel sheet to find out that value within a second clear because in that modern age we are not interested to calculate many more to do a simple thing okay so how much we'll make our work simple our work ability or our uh, work time with videos so thank you thank you very much and if you really like our channel then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also if you love our video and also if you want to support us then please join as a member you will get a membership button beside our subscribe button so by clicking that join button please join as a member as per your requirement or as per your ability that will be very very helpful for us so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video